Hey there, Chris Kellett with 123 Muse here. Let's take a look at some of the other widgets that came in the Additions 2 menu pack. First off, let's take a look at the um, Zilva menu. So let's drag this onto the page. This is a really nice navigation. I just wanted to try and push the limits of what you could actually do graphically, visually, with um, just the built-in tools with Muse. And so we built this menu here. However, it is a little bit buggy when you first put it on the page in the fact that these round corners have been applied to um, all the sides, um, which they weren't once they were placed in there. So it's a simple little fix here. Make sure that we have the edit together switched off. We select the button, tab there, and we're going to switch those off that side and then select the contact here and switch them off there. Great. Okay, now let's preview this. And we'll see that Muse has some really good visual graphical capabilities. So we've got all sorts of things going on here. We've got a gradient on the background. We've got an alternate gra gradient on the text area. We've got two different types of text in the label area. We've got an icon on the left here. We've also got a um, colored border on just one side here. So we've got these nice different colored tabs. And then we have this nice dark rollover effect and these really nice um, sub-menu items here. All built in Muse. No Photoshop here, just all built in Muse. So the idea of this menu is to really show you all the different parts that you can modify. So for instance, if you select here the, the label area, if I can actually get into it, there we go. We can see that we have our gradient fill here. We have our color. This is because we've switched the edit together off so that we can do things individually. But how you would build a menu like this is all of the parts that you want to to be the same, so the background color, the tra the gradients here, the text, do those first with the edit together so that they're all done, and then switch the edit together off and just change the individual items, for things like the color here and so on, and the rounded corners on either end. That way, um, you can get all of the bulk of the work done in the edit together, together mode, and then just the individual bits at the end. Really nice little menu, um, useful, but really more to give you an idea of what you can do. But the other thing that we have here is in order to put a drop shadow behind the whole unit, we've just put a um, rectangle of the same dimensions as the menu there so that we can have that drop shadow there as well. Okay, let's move on to the next widget.